fuck you and your protest is just unhappy with the election result. Reflections on my longing for embodied and heart-centered leadership. The kind of leadership where someone is willing and capable of listening, not just with their ears to the words, but with their whole body, heart, and soul to the experience and concerns of another. The kind of leadership where the person is centered in their heart and feels the pain of others as if it was their own. The kind of leadership where aligning to values takes priority over aligning to vested interests, power, or agendas. That's the kind of leadership that I long for. And when I read in the wake of thousands of people protesting about something so fundamental to their experience of reality, that a so-called leader of our country has been dismissive, judgmental, arrogant, and ornery, I want to scream. I want to stand on my roof and scream into the ether. We are all the leaders. My heart breaks that this is the response we get, that this is the kind of leadership we have to live with. Would somebody coach this man into his heart and into the skills necessary to hold the experience of another dear? Anyone who has done any smidgen of personal work would recognize that this response, his response, denies the reality, the perspective, and the lived experience of those who are protesting. And I don't want to live in a country where leaders deny the reality, perspective, or lived experience of anyone. I want to live in a country, in a world, where leaders listen, acknowledge, empathize and contemplate the concerns of others, even when they don't agree with them, especially when they don't agree with them. I want to live in a country where leaders recognize that they are there to lead the people, not control the people, not dictate to the people, not dominate the people, but to lead and not just any leadership. It is heart-centered, embodied leadership that I crave, that I long for, that I dream, that I vision. The age of leadership locked into power is over, needs to be over, or we humans will be over. The age of leadership anchored in the heart is here needs to be here or we humans will no longer be here. My prayer is that those in positions of leadership wake the fuck up and feel their hearts and the hearts of others as if they were the same because they are. Our hearts beat as one. Whether you feel it yet, or not. Feel it. I dare you.